Hi, it's Martin Pahiniak. Welcome back to PSD Touch Plus. Today, I'm going to show you a very simple technique which can be used to simulate a higher resolution on a low resolution photograph. This photograph in the front I took with a cell phone and if we zoom closer you can see that the resolution is really bad especially compared to the background which I placed there that was the original background and this is the new background that I created so if we look at the, the gum for example or the background we can easily tell that this is a much lower resolution image here in the foreground so what can we do in these cases it's always difficult with raster or pixel images to uh, increase the resolution it's, it, or the details of a photograph. It's almost impossible. And whenever you reduce noise, you will lose sharpness. That's also another problem. So when you couldn't capture a specific amount of detail, it is always really difficult to add that detail. But I have a technique, since we have mixer brush in Photoshop, we can actually uh, fake uh, that re uh, detail and resolution by using the mixer brush. As you can see, I created a new layer here, and I'm going to select the mixer brush tool. And with the mixer brush tool, make sure that you don't have any color here selected. The best is to uncheck that option next to the color option so load the brush after each stroke should be turned off after that you can choose very wet as a preset and you can choose the sample all layers option now after that you can change the size of the brush you can make it a soft edge so it's always good to work with the soft edge brush here and then you can start applying this brush over uh, the image and try to make sure that you don't lose the sharpness it will still be too soft compared to a very sharp original photograph but as you can see with several brush strokes I can actually almost like paint in the details that I need so instead of blending it all together I'm just going through it's like literally painting little brush strokes i would say it's really time consuming but actually it works really well you can see now only after a little while we can already see the improvement let me just continue doing it here on the hair as well a bit the edges of the hair and there on the top i'm going to go through okay something like this and the eyebrows under the eyes make sure you keep the details so don't get rid of any detail if possible always maintain the details so let's say again before and after you can see it's already much better you can even do the same technique over the ears and here over every little detail you can get rid of the noise but at the same time you can still keep the details and this technique as i said is time consuming but it pays off at the end because you will see that it will look like we actually got a much better resolution image you have to take extra care when you draw over details like the nose eyes lips because they can change completely the whole features if you are not careful enough you can see i'm drawing with very tiny uh, brush strokes and make sure i don't stretch or blend too much details together and i'm going over and over a couple of parts trying to achieve a nice look on the whole face so let's see now before and after you can see we still kept the whole look but now it's much smoother and let's just zoom a little bit further away so if I zoom a bit further away from here I'm going to turn it off and then on again and you can see that's a big improvement already so nice uh, version a much better version and the great thing is it, it doesn't it not only works with the face but it also works with the clothes and actually in the clothes 
uh, in this case, it's even easier because we just need to follow the drapery and draw it over a couple of times to get rid of once again the noise. So I'm just going to do the arm part, but you will get the idea from this. So I'm again, I try to keep all the details. I'm just getting rid of the noise, which makes it look like very uh, low res, the photograph. So I'm going through all these little details. And let's see now the arm before and after. So even that one can be easily helped uh, with the mixer brush tool. So let's see before and after. So that's the technique that I usually use when I have to work with a very low resolution image. And then later on, after you go through with the mixer brush, you can even add some brush strokes and use dodge and burn just to add even more details. But mixer brush is always the best way to start. Thanks a lot for your attention. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you will join me next time as well.